Welcome back to your SIU Medicine Minute. Joining me today is Dr. William Robinson, a professor in chief for the Division of Vascular Surgery. Dr. Robinson, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Today we're going to discuss PAD. I'll really just start off with asking, what is peripheral artery disease? PAD is the buildup of atherosclerotic plaque in any of the arteries of the body. Although we usually use this term to refer to the buildup of plaque and therefore limitation in blood flow to the arteries of the lower extremity. Uh, what type of risk factors are there when it comes to developing PAD? The risk factors are well known. There are six major risk factors. Clearly the strongest risk factor and the most important is smoking, followed by the presence of diabetes, having hypertension, having hyperlipidemia, kidney disease, and actually just being a male puts you at increased risk for PAD compared to females. So is PAD a serious condition? And if so, like what happens if it's left untreated? It's definitely a serious condition. And it's a serious condition for two reasons. First of all, if you have PAD, it means you have atherosclerosis in all your arteries, including the heart and the brain. And therefore, it represents the fact that you're in increased risk for having heart attack, death from heart disease, or a stroke. It's also important with regard to the legs because PAD can limit the blood flow to your legs, re resulting in a reduced ability to walk, reduced quality of life, and in the most serious instances, PAD can restrict blood flow to the point where you're at risk for losing your leg. So doctor, is PAD curable? And if not, like how is it treatable? Yeah, unfortunately it's not technically curable in that we can't reverse all of the previous plaque buildup that's happened over the years but it is definitely treatable. First and foremost, we have to change those things, including smoking and controlling all the other medical conditions which lead to PAD. We then have a variety of medications that can help stabilize PAD. And in some instances, for example, with regard to the lower extremities, we have ways we can increase the circulation of the legs. That can be both minimally invasive methods as well as surgical options when more significant repair is required. That's some great information. Dr. William Robinson, Professor in Chief for the Division of Vascular Surgery, thanks so much for joining us. It was my pleasure. Thank you for having me. And thank you for watching today's SIU Medicine Minute.